Hello and welcome to Ristam Grandma Mimsy and today we have swirls, leafy swirls to be exact. So um, here is the card that I stamped and uh, I was struggling with this one um, in part because t um, how do I describe this delicately? Um, I had loud upstairs neighbors that did move out. They were only here a couple months. And then somebody else moved in and I heard movement, heavy walking. There was a child running around and you know throwing toys or something to the extent, but it was mostly quiet. I didn't really hear adults. I heard chairs being drugged, you know, obviously they were moving them to use them or clean and um but i didn't hear talking i didn't hear interactions or anything until night before last and it was brutally they were loud they were screaming there was it, it i i i don't know how to put it in terms that uh, I, I am a des domestic survivor of things. So when you have that happening around you, it, it's a little um, unsettling, to say the least. So I, I've been struggling, and so I think part of that had to do with this is just not coming out. Um, but on to better things. My nail art therapy is helping. Uh, and and I'll be okay. Um, I've had an, a, a night to dis distance myself, and so um, I came back to finish what I was previously working on, and um, in a couple days I'll be okay. We'll do more art therapy, a lot more art therapy. Um, but the delicateness of this, so the, the issues that you're gonna have with the, this plate is that it's very fine etchings, they do pick up well if you're using solid color. So like um, the uh, Bam White and a lot of the solid creams will work fantastic with this. When you get into the more speckled ones and don't make a mess, <laughs> um, they get a little bit more complicated. So um, again, did I finish the plate? I don't know, I'm so confused. So here is the up close with all of them. It is, um, and yeah, the problem is, is that to get the light on everything, to get it close enough, you get the glare, the reflection. It, it's just, we, there's no good setup to be able to, to do all this. So this is what I kind of did a hodgepodge of things. Um, this one I really, I struggled with, I tried to fix, I gave up because you know, you can only get to so much before you have a seriously hot mess. Um, I have such short nails on this one. I used two pieces of one. Uh, this one, I wasn't careful and I touched one of the, um, I was putting acetone to clean things up and smudged this one. Um, so I was trying to do the dark colors, Christmassy colors, um, regal colors, was trying to, you know, get really creative to show you the, de the depths of what this can actually do. Um, if you have, you know, long nails, you can obviously do like the whole entire panel of things. But if you have short nails, you can take a piece, you can take a subsection of it and just do it in the tips like I did with this one I took um, it was a piece of this one and a piece of this one and I just did the edges of it because I was trying to do the one and it well it didn't fill it up enough so I went back and did a different color and just to see how it would go um, and then I used this one is one I've been using a lot lately is the uh, M403 because I like the wide panel and it's there's a lot of them 
more of them on this one than there is on the other one. So I could do the tips in the different colors and then do the different shades. And um, the colors that I used, oh, didn't close that one up. That's a That could be a potentially bad thing. I did cloudy. Yes, we love cloudy. And I did cloudy over, I think it was over this one. I think I did cloudy. Th this base, the white underneath this, is cloudy, if it can focus. It, this is cloudy in the background on this hand. Um, and then uh, there's Dearest Aurora. If it will focus there. Uh, B221. Stellar B434. I'm not sure if this one's been discontinued. Um, no, I didn't use that one. But in case you want, this one is a sweet berry. B that one is so tiny. B310. Um Arthurium, Arthurium, B244. I know this one's been discontinued. At least I thought so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hydrate Vegas is diet is dry and uh, dusty. Uh, Hex B446, and this one um, comes with in a set. You can get there's three of them. Is sanding polish. And they came in the box of shadows a couple of years back. Um, this one is Foxglove B500. Um, Gretel Brittle is B222. Um, Delirium B233. I think this is Raisin. B452 and then um, Expedition Pearl B166 that I used. Yeah, I used Expedition over the top of this one. Focus. I did that one and I did that one. So as you can tell, I did different images and I did it over this one too. So there's all the different bottoms and the different stamping tops. And so you could uh, easily do the French with your base plate of this in, a, in a, your base color. And then your stamping color, you could just do over that part. You don't have to do it over the entire nail. But I wanted to showcase the the stamping of the images over the whole nail, but also in combination with the tip, you could keep it at the bottom, do this and just do a piece of that. Or if your nails are really long, you could do the whole image at the bottom and leave this part um, either a contrasting color or bare. So yeah, we, we have our Skittles hot mess <laughs> to um, to share with you um, how do I put this the different ideas so yeah this was not something I would normally wear out it's just to give you the different contrasts of possibilities that you could do each one the same or you could do them different if, if you like the Skittles look like this and having them all be different that's kind of fun too so um, I hope that answers your questions or it gives you inspiration um, if there's anything more that you would like to know about the plate um, uh, or for me to do additional images on just leave those in the comments and let me know uh, I do appreciate uh, all those who have subscribed like share sharing is caring um please don't let those who are in the misery loves company club and yes i'm a reforming recovering i used to belong to that club don't let them recruit you because they're always recruiting and um 
yeah. Even though they might not actually be recruiting, you, you honestly don't know the extent of the things that you could say to someone that could be, be ten, could potentially be hurtful without knowing. And in part, uh, there was a series that I recently watched. Uh, it's a, a Netflix, uh, I guess you could call a docu series, but it's a it's a one off. There, there's not going to be any more to it. But it's called Unbelievable, and um, the lead character, the fictional name that they gave is Marie Adler because they were trying to protect the identity of the real person because it is based off of real true life events. And I want to say it was something that happened around 2006, 2008, timeline 2011, give or take. And um, there was a, a young woman who had been in the foster care system since she was about three uh, in some very bad, abusive, and traumatic situations that no kid should have to go through, and had finally landed into a program. I want to say she was in Washington area, but um, the state of Washington, not D.C. and the government side, East Coast, but um, for what she got into a program that was a pilot program to help children transition from getting uh, being in foster care to get, becoming an adult and getting all the, the adulting life skills that sometimes you don't get. A lot of people don't get. And um, she had a bad situation happen to her. We're, we're not going to say what that, that was. Um, and um, she didn't quite react because of her trauma and her mistrust of people and the system and all of the caseworkers and foster people and individuals that she had um, had interactions with as a kid that really weren't there, as she put it in the, the one of the episodes, when people who are there who say that they're going to help you and they don't help you, you don't tend to trust people. So she really didn't know what to say or how to deal with this and was incredibly traumatized by this and the police mishandled it poorly they they kind of came at her and um and again one of the things that was said in there that if you have someone who's a victim of of a, a robbery or an assault or anything of that nature they don't question the victim but when women say something happened to them that is of a certain different kind of nature that then they're the ones who are have to, to do the burden of proof and no one believes them and it just to this level you got to watch the series because there's a whole lot of stuff in there that that the commentary says that if the things that happen to women the violence and the abuse and the, the mistreatment of women that if this were happening to men, they would be solving it right away. But because it's the other way around, <sighs> healthcare and other things, women don't get treated equally. But anyway, so she doesn't react the way that they feel that she did. She's pressured into recanting her statement and then she is put through the system and actually, actually charged with a gross misdemeanor of filing a false report has to go on probation and pay a fine of $500 because they didn't believe her and she lost her job her friends everything that she could have felt that was remotely uh, in her corner as a safety net was all gone and years later they figured out that there was someone who was moving through different places using different jurisdictions because this individual had managed to have not only military training but got a textbook on this how to teach cops how to spot and catch criminals of this kind of nature it was specifically designed for this and knew how to cover their tracks and it, it took a lot of these t coincidences and just luck of the draw 
that these two lady detectives managed to figure things out and pull their resources um, and everything that they needed to do to figure out and narrow down. And it took a lot of investigation, really just digging in on things to find the guy. And in the process of this, the whole reason that this series got made is um, there was, an, I believe, a New York Times and there was another joint with somebody else, but they did an investigation, an unbelievable four-letter word that I won't say, um, in social media that it's similar to rope, but you can change out one of the letters. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the, 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 there, there's a whole lot in there that, um, If you've gone through some things, any kind of trauma, and you watch this, and and trigger warnings, and you know alerts to this, that this is a hard watch. But if you if you haven't, this is a really good example of what it's like to go through traumatic events. That um, it and it takes a lot of healing, a lot of counseling and therapy and things that you have to really work through to come through the other side. Um, it's a good watch to be informed on things. Now, they did take some liberties. There, Obviously, it's entertainment, so not everything is exactly as it is. Um, I, again, um, there are some good outcomes, but there's a whole lot that really kind of shows you the realities of things and it doesn't even scratch the iceberg this is just kind of a a taste of the realities of what the struggle is anyway I digress into something not very nice and well my whole goal is to have my videos be uh, informative and um, helpful in your nail art journey but sometimes reality of life you there are things that are going on in this country that are just not very good and it, it kind of concerns and scares me for what kind of life and society that my granddaughter is going to inherit along with my grandsons and there are a lot of things that Young girls are not taught in red flags of individuals and things to do to safeguard yourself. Um, and it, it's just, the world needs more love. We really do need to look at our friends, our neighbors, our coworkers, and I'm, I'm from the mindset, you, your, your coworkers are not your friends. You can become friends, but generally speaking, they're not your friends unless you work at that relationship. Um, there's that phrase, the grass is always greener someplace else. Well, it's greener there because it was tended to. So there's a lot of things in our society that should be tended to, and unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation and a, not a whole lot of explanations and understandings. It's, it's always thought of that's somebody else's problem. You should have. Well, it's easy to say that if you got all the warm fuzzies and you had people looking out for you that gave you the life skills and the adulting skills that you should have to be able to make informed decisions. A lot of people don't get that and out of out of a, of a core family and, and I've seen and I've known and have experienced individuals who didn't have great role models because their role models didn't know better and through no fault of their own did the best they could but they created more problems 
and it's a generational thing that just gets handed down like the concept that there's a whole lot of people millions and millions of people out there that believe a dishwasher is just to sanitize your dishes it's not really meant to clean them and the detergent companies have actually had to do a lot of press to go no we formulate the the, the ingredients that you put in the machine you don't have to wash the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher you scrape off in case you didn't know you scrape off all the visible excess that you can you don't even have to rinse underwater you just literally remove as much as you possibly can but having the stuff on the plates and the bowls and the dishes that's kind of what the detergent is looking to cling to to cling c-l-i-n-g cling to for as the water is going around it like like acetone dissolves the nail polish it's designed to cling to the food particles to i guess emulsify and i don't know if emulsify is the right but basically to disintegrate and actually wash the dishes anyway i digress so far off the point of the channel and and the and the episode and the the whole nine yards of things but hey i'm a grandma my goal is also to inform and educate and when i when i say the world needs more love and do not let those who are in the misery loves company club recruit you i, I say these things for a reason and a point that there's just way too much ugliness going on out there and this country needs way more healing and mental health awareness and acceptance and the cost of that needs to just be formulated into our society I'm not trying to get political um, but I, I, I'm not picking a side. I'm just saying both sides need to come towards the middle of, I'm not gonna use the terms in this that the, and I don't mean the left of Democrats and the right of the Republicans and the middle of the conservatives and the liberals. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking we need to, whatever side of the fence you're on, you need to find common ground because the difference between consumers and citizens, we should be treated as citizens, part of a community consumers consume. And I understand I am encouraging this to buy and consume these things to use, but I'm encouraging you to buy and use these things for your self-care and well-being. Do so frugally within your means to use this to improve your mental outlook on things. Don't do it just to have it to get it. Don't do it just to have it because of any other reason other than it inspires you to feel better. Um, but to be honest, we and again, I'm not saying that we should be a socialist society. By the way, no country and no entity has ever been completely socialistic, even though the, the person that wrote it never instituted it for their division. So the thing is, is that socialism gets a bad name. And even though there's a lot of people that say, well, Canada does this and these other countries do that and blah, blah, blah. If you look at their models though, um, they are a happier people. And there are arguments to all sides, but there's ways to solve it. The problem is everyone keeps looking and doing things the same way and then can't figure out why they're not getting different results. You can't, Albert Einstein said, you cannot solve the problem with the same mind that created it. You, you have to look at all of the possibilities and there are ways 
absolutely there are ways to get around the cost and the expense to save our people. People should matter more than profits. People should matter more than corporations ability to sway people to think a certain way. And I'm saying this out of a humanitarian concept of taking care of people. There's, there's so many things that, that the United States does to take care of other countries. And yet our own citizens are not being treated as citizens, but as consumers. And there's just this, there's a lot of ugliness here. And it can be solved. I have ideas. I know that there's things that would work. I know for a fact that they would work. There's scientific proof from or other organizations, other countries. Studies, research, there's a lot of things that would work, but no one wants to go there. And it's kind of like in the places where I live that at one point when I was making a comment about at, an, at another place, not here, but one of the things that the neighbors were doing that was disruptive and nobody in the complex liked. And when I said something to the office at one point and the comment that came back to me, you're the only one that's complaining. Yeah, because nobody else wants to say anything. Everybody's too afraid to stand up. But how many times have you seen a show where they have said, hey, if you don't stand up and if we don't band together, there's, you know, it's the numbers. If every single person in the United States that was earning less than several millions of dollars a year, if every person in the, the working class that had to have a job to go to work, that didn't own a company that, you know, pretty much made their life easy, that they didn't have to worry about money, but if everybody who has, who has to have a job in one form or another, if we all actually got together and we're on the same page. There's a there's a there's enough of us in numbers. In, in 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 case people forgot, those in Congress are supposed to be working for the people, not having lobbyists to get them to work for the corporations. The the job of Congress persons was supposed to be a civic duty like jury duty. It wasn't meant to be a career. And you have some who've been in office for their entire lifetime who've amassed fortunes that are multiple times exceeding what they earned doing their job. But because of their job, they were able to springboard that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying that they were able to springboard that into other avenues of revenue and because of that well you know they're the ones who are in charge of things um unfortunately there's that phrase what's good for the goose is good for the gander and at the same time why should our elected officials have a completely different retirement medical and care package that no one else in the united states has nobody else can get if they're supposed to be working for the people and are elected by the people, shouldn't they have to live under the same rules and regulations of the people? To me, it would be common sense. But common sense isn't common anymore because we don't treat our, our civilization the same way. When we had tribes and lived in caves or villages or whatever the case, elders were there teaching by story, by passing down through the lineage, the, the, the histories of things. And we don't do that anymore. 
we now have to go on a, on a website to figure out who our ancestors were. It used to be we knew who they were. We knew their names. We knew their stories. Now we have to go have documents kind of give us a, a piece of the puzzle. Because somewhere in there we forgot who we were. So we don't know who we are. And if we don't know where we came from and we don't know what we are, how can we go forward? So, one little grandma trying to spread hope and light. Because when you share, show light in the darkness, the shadows can't hide. Please don't come for me in the comments. Anyway, again, I apologize. I don't didn't mean for this to be so drab and depressing. I'm going to go do the things that make me feel better. I'm going to feel a lot better in a few hours. And I'm going to take this off. I'm going to do me some more nail art. I'm going to go listen to the things that make me feel better and happy and find my joy and my bliss. And I hope you do too. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.